So we are here, and we are with... Who are you? Chris Vega. All right, we are with Chris Vega, and if you notice, this is our table number, and this is first place. So got Chris boys. Vega just got first place in our 41-person tournament, monthly modern tournament, and this is something that we're fixing to start doing. We're going to start doing a deck tech for all of our winners. So... Chris Vega gets our first deck tech. So this is awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna we're just gonna hop right into it. First off, we asked you your name. Next question is, what deck were you playing? I was playing Blue White Control. Blue White Control. Okay. And then why did you choose the deck? Well, I think the deck's very underrated. Mostly everybody's playing like Just Sky Control, which I just don't like like the burn plan sometimes. And essentially, I feel like this deck is very underrated and just I think it's meta in the sense that we have disruption with like Field of Ruins and spreading seas, so messing with our opponent's mana base is really good, mm -hmm. especially in a format that's full of like Grixis Shadow, and even Jeskai, when you cut them off of their red sources, it's really good to just get ahead. Um, but aside from that, I just love the colors, I like the Azorius lore and all that, so. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop right into uh, the actual deck tech itself, so I'm just gonna pan across the cards, you can tell us how many of each, uh, one you were playing, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so four field of yeah, We have four field of runes for our mana disruption. Uh, three planes with five islands to get with our field of runes and fetches. Um, also, it keeps us from being punished by Blood Moon heavily, which is really nice. Uh, we have been dealing, click, and Sapcaster Mage. Sap for recursion. Uh, flashing back at Sphinx's Rev is really good. Yeah. Uh, and Vendelli Click just for like combo interactions or like when they're on top deck mode and you want to keep them off of something, you flash it in and then get rid of their good card and make them draw a At the end of their draw step. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Force Hero Visions, just a cantrip, really good. Uh, Paths and uh, one of Rune Halo. Rune Halo is by far probably my favorite card in the deck uh, just because on turn two, if you cast it against Falakut, they have to kill you with the Titans. Uh, naming Great Shot against Storm is really good. They have to kill you with. Walking Ballista. Yeah, walking ballista against Coco. Um, yeah, Storm has to kill you with goblins, but literally we have a planeswalker that makes some zero ones when they attack, so right. it's really sweet. Um, four off flooded strand over here with four colonnades of our main win condition, mostly. Yeah, you like yeah. to beat down with the colonnade. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, two glacial fortresses, a one of Mystic Gate, and two Hollow Fountain. Alright. And then we have our four of spreading seeds for mana disruption. Uh, as well, cantrips, draws us an extra redraw, it's really good. Uh, two logic knots, uh, a lot of people like mana leak in that spot, but I don't, I'm not a fan of mana leak. Uh, usually late in the game you want to hard counter something, so logic knot allows you to do that, instead of making them pay three. Uh, three cryptics, uh, one of negates, just really sweet to have. Uh, three supreme verdicts to kind of get us back in the game when they're head and board state. Uh, spell center to counter like devoted druids and searches in the mirror, it's really valuable. Um, and then the one of Sphinx's That red. one of Sphinx is real, that card's oh, so yeah. good. Oh yeah. Alright. Then we have two Detention Spheres with two Search for Escontas. And then for our Points Walker package, we have two Gideons with Jace and uh, Gideon Jura. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah. All shiny. Oh yeah, these All are right. a lock for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so that was basically the deck. Um, now we're going to be talking about the actual sideboard and uh, what kind of little secret tech that he has in there that people might want to see. So let's let's hop into it. Oh yeah, for sure. So we have the one of negate, really good in the mirror, or just any spell-based deck, especially like Coco, where they want to Coco, you negate it. Uh, literally any matchup that isn't too creature heavy, heavy you want to bring it in. Okay. Um, dispel, deck full of instants, like the mirror as well. Uh, ceremonious rejection for Tron, Affinity, uh, sometimes even uh, Enduring Ideal, right. Ad Nauseum, you just want to keep them off their mana, which is really nice. Uh, we have Distanceful Stroke for Tron, yeah, Ceremonious Rejection also comes in against Tron. Yeah. Uh, but D Stroke comes in against uh, the Mirror, comes in against Tron, comes against Jeskai, comes against any deck that plays a lot of 4 drops or more. Uh, Elspeth for like the mid-range matchups like Jund and uh, just any big fatty deck, so like Etron. You play Elspeth, you neg it, all the creatures are gone, yeah. so you're back in there. Uh, Celestial Purge for like Blood Moon decks or Shadow. It's really nice to have, especially that new Mardu deck going around. Uh, two Timely Reinforcements for Timely for Reinforcement is so good. Yeah, just for burn and aggro decks that just want to yeah. kill you. In case y'all don't know what Timely Reinforcements does, which most of y'all probably do, it says uh, if you have less life than your opponent, you gain six life. If you have fewer creatures than an opponent, put three one ones. Back whenever I started playing, that card would destroy me because I played aggro. It's so good. <laughs> uh, two Stony Silences uh, come in typically in the same matchups, which is Affinity, Eldrazi Tron, uh, Ad Nauseum, uh, stuff like that. They just want to 
cast artifacts and right. go in with you. So like affinity as well. Uh, and two rest in pieces for any graveyard based deck. So like Jeskai Control, uh, the Mirror. I typically bring those in and I take out my Snap, Logic Knots, and Search Package. To kind of bring in the two rest in pieces. Negate and, and dispel, maybe. Negate and dispel, and then the graph digger schedules. Because if I don't get to rest in peace, then they can't do anything with Snapcast Mage, which is nice. Um, right. And then the one of Settle the Wreckage, which is for, like, pretty importantly, Boggles. And, Boggles. like, any creature based deck that, uh, like Coco, yeah. they swing out. And then to play around Verdict, they have a Sulfur Spirit. So if they swing out, I can make them exile their creatures instead of, That's smart. you know, have them sack the. Uh, Alright, so. Spirit. We've already went through uh, main board. We went through sideboard tech. What was your toughest matchup today? Uh, Coco for sure. Coco for sure. Oh, yeah. Coco Pebbles. Yeah, that's a rough matchup. <laughs> yeah, but they I, just get a lot of incremental card value. Like their creatures get back other stuff, and then sometimes they Coco hit and like, get back that same Coco. Like right. that's really hard to keep up with. Bunch of two for ones and yep. stuff like that. It's a tough matchup. All right. So what would you say that your MVP card of the night was? By far, Rune Halo. Definitely the Rune oh, Halo. Yeah. Rune Halo is hot. Rune Halo. In, in case you don't know what this does, it says, uh, here, hold on. As Rune Halo comes into play, name a card. You have protection from the chosen card. So, so two mana, double white, enchantment. Oh, yeah. It's really good. So you played against Valakut. Name Valakut. They actually can't win the game. They have to kill you with Titans, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Storm, name Grape Shot. But the sweetest thing is when you go Rune Halo, name three kitchen fix that your opponent, opponent has, and they're beating you down with it. And then you manage to draw Settle the Wreckage, exile all their Kitchen Finks, and then they play two Knight of the Reliquaries back to back. So you go Cryptic, bounce it, play it, name Knight. That's actually oh, really wow. So that's that's actually really super nice. tech. So you, you use your own Cryptic to bounce your Rune Halo yeah. after you got Rune.